Hello, my beautiful Virgos. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalker at zen.com, here to bring your mid month forecast for November 15th to the 30th. So, guys, check your moon, your rising, and Venus sign if you'd like more information. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Remember, this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Let's jump right in. What's going on, my Virgos, romantic love life for November. 15th to the 30th. What's going on my Virgo's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Virgo's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Virgo's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? All right, that feels good. Okay, and remember this is my Lenormand, excuse me, my Rider Waite clarifier. What's going on my Virgo's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Virgo's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Virgo's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? And that's my Lenormand clarifier. What's going on my Virgo's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Virgo's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Okay, that feels good. Wow. Okay. Um... Virgos, you're coming out like uh, Capricorn did in their, their current situation. So we have the devil card. Some kind of bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination, or you're dealing with a Capricorn. And uh, the reason that's there is because someone's telling like it is the Queen of Swords energy. And why is that? Because there's something to do with someone feels like something's being taken away from them with the mice card or there's some kind of worry here. So there's worry here. Someone's going to speak their mind. They're going to tell it like it is because they feel like something is not quite right here. Bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination. That's currently what's going on for you, Virgos. What is the blockage? Six of cups. Something to do with the past energy. Something surrounding the past. Something to pertain to a reconciliation, which seems to be a blocking. Also, sixes are about healing here. So that's a blockage. And why is that? Because someone's holding on to something for short success or for a pentacle shows me someone hasn't forgiven someone for a pentacles energy. And why is that? Because there's a burden and a challenge here, okay, with the, the cross cards. So this is a burden and challenge because it's something to do with the past energy. And there is something to do with someone who isn't forgiven, okay? They have not forgiven someone here. This is the burden and the challenge to the situation. All right, what's going on in the foundation? So you were trying to gain some kind of mental clarity, Virgo, okay, with this Ace of Swords energy, pertaining to this bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination, or something that you feel isn't quite right pertaining to your confusion here, or you feel like you're clouding your judgment. So you're gaining a mental clarity around this, okay? So what happened in the past? Soulmate connection, two of cups, choice towards love, and you feeling like you were hanging around, waiting around, feeling stagnant here with the, the hangman energy because of something to do with long-term commitment and marriage. So there is a soulmate connection here in the past, but it felt like it, it has an energy of feeling like it was stuck because of something to do with someone who may have been committed, okay? Or something to do with a long-term commitment marriage here with the ring card. Okay, so what's going on at the head of the matter here? Hmm, Three of Pentacles energy. Now, look at this card here. You know, normally Three of Pentacles, you see some kind of building and stuff, but the, the Pentacles are falling out here of that bag. And uh, it's almost like a, an energy of like defiance. Okay, it's like a defiance energy there on that card. So at the head of the matter, there's a defiance energy here pertaining to building something, all right? Three of Pentacles energy. Because of a message of some kind of long-term commitment or Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here with the Page of Pentacles. And there's arguments and disputes or something is repetitive about this whole thing, right? There's a defiant energy here in the head of the matter. Defiant energy. I can, I can I just feel it. I, I feel this defiant energy here. And there's arguments and disputes because someone wants to go forward in a long-term commitment here, Page of Pentacles energy, but it's like there's arguments and disputes about it. And Three of Pentacles is showing me there's a defiant energy. And obviously there's a mental, somebody's trying to gain a mental clarity here because of some kind of bondage, addiction, depression, and procrastination here pertaining to the situation because they want to be victorious. What's going to happen in the immediate outcome here? All right, Eight of Pentacles, hmm. work, 
school apprenticeship, this person really looks like they're methodically like trying to figure things out. They're really putting the work into this, all right? They're really focused on work. Now, this could also show someone in the outcome that's really focused on work, really paying attention to their pentacles here, okay? If not, it's, it's there's a lot of effort being put into this in the outcome. And why is that? Because of the high priestess, because there is a spiritual aspect to this with a high priestess or someone is using their intuition here with a high priestess because of something to do with a message. Now, the high priestess can represent secrets. The letter can represent secrets, okay? So there could be something around work, school, apprenticeship in this situation and or some kind of effort here or someone's putting work or focus on work because they have some kind of secret agenda here, okay? Just be aware of that. There could be some kind of secret agenda why someone's focused on their pentacles or work or putting some kind of effort into something. Because with that letter card and that high priestess, there's something secret surrounding work here. Okay, so what's going on in the subconscious? Knight of Pentacles. Someone's slow walking it. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Because they have a wish and a hope here with the star card, and they wanna be appreciated here with the bouquet card. So there's a slow walking energy here because uh, someone wants appreciation. They wanna feel attractive with the bouquet card, and they have, they have hope that things are gonna be okay. What's the influence in this situation? 10 of Pentacles energy. So family is an influence here, 10 of Pentacles. Also could be the pentacles. There could be money that could be the influence in the situation. Money could be the central influence here because of the eight of pentacles energy there. Yeah, and then this also represents the work card. Hmm. And the tree represents something to do with being patient. Yeah, so in your situation, Virgo, um, a lot of what's going on here pertaining to so far, it's a lot to do with work. And there may be some kind of secret agenda or, or influence surrounding money and work and putting the work in and uh, something to do with a long time or you know healing here you feel like that could be very healing in the situation or the person that you're dealing with does um, so your fear is that things are just gonna come crashing down with the tower card and someone's gonna walk away eight of cups energy and uh, this is pertaining to a person so your fear uh, Virgo is that like everything is gonna come crashing down and this person's gonna walk away so what is going to be the outcome here? Oh my God, I love this outcome. Wow. The world card. And this, this person just looks like they're just chilling out, relaxing. So the world card, it's like you have the world at your fingertips here, Virgo. It's like you're going to complete some kind of cycle here. Oh my God. Twin flame, soulmate connection, choice towards love. Oh my God. So what does the world card represent? It represents travel. It represents something foreign, someone foreign or something foreign, someone foreign, or completing a cycle. Oh my God, and the cycle involves a twin flame soulmate connection. No, why is the snake card coming up? But something isn't quite right about it though, because there's a choice that needs to be made with that snake card, or there could be something involving another person, because the snake card can represent another person. Oh my God, so there's potentially a, a situation where you complete a cycle. There's a twin flame soulmate connection, but there may be another person involved hmm. or something that's still not quite right. Okay, let me just go further on this. Uh, why? Yeah, okay, so here's why. There is an opportunity to complete a cycle here, okay? And we have a five in the outcome, which represents something to do with change. Five of swords is a defeated energy. Should I stand up and find a walk away? There's some deep, heavy soul searching here, and this is your energy with the Hermit card. So that's what's going on. There's a procrastination energy here with that, that snake card. There is a choice. There is a soulmate connection here. There is a choice towards love, but it's like there's a procrastination going on here. Why is that? Because look at this Five of Swords energy. You see there's a couple in this card. One person has all the swords in their hand, and the other person's like, I got nothing. So do I want to stand up and fight or walk away from this? I really need to analyze the situation. If you look at this hermit card, this person's like analyzing, wow, this is how things are. It's like you have all, all the, the cards in your hand, you have all the things in your hand, but I have nothing. 
So do I really want this? Do I want to complete the cycle with this person? Do I want to continue further? I know there's a twin flame soulmate connection here. I could make a choice towards love, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this isn't quite right for me with the snake card. Hmm. Whew, okay, Virgos. Um, let's get you some advice. Can I have some advice for my Virgos? And remember, you guys have free will, so you don't have to take this advice if you want to. Can I have some advice for my Virgos romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Can I have some advice for my Virgos romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? It says, free yourself. Take back control of your life, Virgo. And that you need to allow things, let go of control issues and allow things to unfold naturally. Because there is a past life relationship here, okay? Uh, you've known each other before. And you can see that there is a twin flame soulmate connection in this outcome. And it does show that there's something to do with a twin flame soulmate connection, which is the thing here. Okay, so it's like you need to figure out, okay, do you want to take control of this situation, Virgo? Okay, do you want to take control of the situation and free yourself from it? Because it's time to take back control of your life. Or do you want to just allow things to unfold, unfold naturally? Because remember... You're dealing with a situation where there's a past life situation, like a soulmate connection here with this person. You've known each other before, so you need to decide, do you want to free yourself completely from the situation or do you just want to allow things to unfold naturally? Because there's this energy here of like, you're not really, really wanting to, to do anything. You're, there, there's, there needs to be a completion of a cycle here and you have to stand up and fight and walk away and you really need to analyze this with the hermit card here and that's basically what it's showing in this outcome here and take in consideration that you know there is a soulmate connection here with this person all right let me now clear this out of the way my virgos and let me get you some advice for your career and finance can i have some advice for my virgos career and finance please for November 15th to 30th. Can I have some advice from my Virgo's career and finance for November 15th to 30th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay. So classes, learning and teaching are a part of your higher calling. So Virgo, if you guys, they are suggesting maybe going back to school, maybe still learning some new things pertaining to uh, your skill set here. Okay. And sensitivity, your feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity. So they're also suggesting to be a little bit more in touch with your feelings when it comes to your career and finance. What do you feel passionate about? What do you, what do you really enjoy here? And also daily practice, daily practice. Um, the more you practice your new skills, the more comfortable and confident you become. So a lot for you, Virgos, it seems to be a lot about maybe gaining some new knowledge here, going back to school, maybe taking some classes or picking up new skills here would be really useful for your career in finance, okay? All right, my Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkersn.com or check out the description box below.